Let's talk more about Ed Ball's announcement uh, this morning that Labour would bring back a 50p top rate of tax. Uh, that would reverse the coalition's decision to cut the tax. Is his? Is this the best way forward, or does George Osborne have the economic thunder? Well, with me to discuss this are economists Michael Burke and Brian Sturgis. Uh, afternoon to you both. Michael, let's go to you first. Uh, Ed Ball's made a very lengthy speech, uh, lots of points in it, the 50p tax rate, the headline uh, event of it, but what did you make overall of, of his stance today? Well, the, the 50p tax rate and the restoration of that is going to be very popular. People don't really understand why we've had a coalition government for so long which has talked about deficit reduction as being the sole um, goal of economic policy, and yet we have tax cuts for the rich. Okay, popular, but that is not necessarily the right way to go, I would suggest, Michael, that, uh, to, to rebuild an economy that has been in such dire straits for so long. Well, by itself, it won't rebuild an economy. Um, it just restores an element of greater fairness to the taxation system. The real, the real meat of the speech was about uh, the deficit and investment. Okay, yes, he, he talked to a great length with that. Uh, Brian, I'll just put to you, fairness, it, it is something that will win votes. It will see those ordinary, particularly the middle, the squeeze middle class, uh, supporting a move like that. It shows flexibility in Labour's, in Ed Ball's approach, does it not? It shows a bit of populism. Um, raising taxes will not actually help um, investment, particularly, especially at that, at that level. Um, I think if you look at the entire speech, it's, uh, it's, it's almost a Disraeli, you know, t in the 19th century, taking uh, one party's policies in general about deficit reduction and, and go to a surface, just changing a few years of how long it's going to take to do it, but it's effectively the same poli overall policy. Um, the tax rate um, is just a, a little bit of populism thrown into that. Is that not right to some extent, Michael, that what Ed Balls has said today is, is basically a nod towards the Chancellor and, and saying, OK, we'll go that path too, it seems to be working? Quite an important nuance, I think, in the, in the speech, uh, which is the focus on current spending and the separation of that from investment. And actually, despite all the talk we've had about, um, about bringing the deficit down, What's actually happened under the coalition government is that we've had a big increase in current spending and a big reduction in government investment. And that's surely not any way to rebuild an economy. So if Ed Balls, and I think it's an if, because the detail wasn't spelt out at all, but if it's a commitment to significantly increase the level of government investment, that can be a good thing. Okay, a, a lot has come been made of the figures that were released yesterday about how we we are uh, effectively, according to some statistics, uh, better off than we were a few years ago. But Brian, because of the the controversy around that, the use of statistics for one purpose or another has has that backfired in some ways on the chancellor. And on the well, on both on both of them, because when you really look at statistics. Um, a few months on, we have more more information. The controversy can suddenly just disappear. But uh, I think the thing is, the, the there's one point about investment uh, that, that that point is very very important. But it's not so much public investment. We need private investment, and certainly there is a rebalance in the economy. If you just look in terms of the the, the jobs figures, there is more. Um, there's been more creation in private sector jobs than in. Um, uh, far greater than the reduction of public, public service jobs. So the, the recovery is still very fragile and it's too, it's too um, dependent upon consumer expenditure. Uh, investment has to come in, but yeah. it has to be private investment, not just public investment. Public investment can be completely wasted. Yeah, interesting. Um, the Brian mentioned there, Michael, uh, about employment, those figures as well, good. And the, the danger for Ed Balls, and he makes a, a very important political speech for him. And he did acknowledge previous mistakes, but, but also didn't acknowledge the strides that have been made economically by the Chancellor and, and the plan that he has pursued um, so far during his course as Chancellor. Well, 
Um, there's a lot of assumptions in that. We, we, you're assuming that the strides that the Chancellor's made are in the right direction. And um, as Brian said, what we have is um, a rise in consumption. That's not sustainable. So the strides are in the wrong direction. Repeating that, repeating the errors of, in effect, going back to the worst excesses of where we were before the crisis is hopeless. What we need, that's why people are focusing on investments. What we need is investment-led recovery. And what happened was when the coalition came to power, they ran around with a sandwich board saying that the end of the world is nigh and uh, we're going to have to cut, otherwise we're going to end up like Greece. And hey presto, what happened was the private sector also cut its own investment. So it was the completely wrong policy. What actually happened is in the last uh, few months of the Gordon Brown uh, Premiership, you had an increase in government investment, which led to an increase in the private sector investing. And that's the big problem. That is the, statistically, the whole of the recession is accounted for by the fall in investment led by the fall in business investment. And until that's altered, we're going nowhere. Very interesting. Brian, um, it is going to be uh, perhaps the issue in the lead up to the election, the cost of living, how wealthy or otherwise people feel. Who do people you talk to and deal with uh, on a business front, who do they trust most politically? Well, they, they, they trust the coalition on balance. Um, this is very much the, the, the new speech, it's very much fairy tale economics, you know, we've heard it all before. And all this, um, you know, Ed Ball's moving towards this idea of one nation. Well, again, you know, this is, this is all back to Israeli, 150 years ago. Uh, who, of course, was a, was a conservative. Um, I think, it, 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 as I said earlier, it is just populism. I agree with Michael about investment, but I disagree with him uh, about where the source of the investment. There has to be private investment. And I know that sometimes there are these discussions of an investment strike. It's not so much that it's getting the conditions right for investment to be restored. To talk about the small increase which came at the end of the last Labour government, uh, is appealing a UK phenomenon is nonsense. It was actually a, a global phenomenon which was actually um, impacting on, on business investment. Um, and the cash balances in, uh, by companies are happening in, in Germany, they happened in the US as well. It's actually not just about one particular government's policies. Okay, we appreciate both of you discussing it with us, Brian Sergis and Michael Burke. Thank you both.